Bruh. Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3, and today we're going to be playing on the Desert Cross map. Uh, Art of War 3 got a little bit laggy, so if you guys can see, it is lagging somewhat. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go! Uh, hold up, I got a Discord message, let me click on it real quick. Okay, now that that's taken care of, we can fast forward and finish this stuff. Okay, so we're going to be scouting. Uh, oh, we even got a container on their part of the uh, map. So that's pretty nice. Okay, my ally is also doing some good scouting. There's two containers here. I'll let my ally get that one. Um, I'll get this one. It looks like green spawned here and blue spawned here, according to how the assaults are coming in. Uh, but let's fast forward, of course we're going for a wasp and uh, coyotes and riflemen because there's a bigger container spawning right there. There's also one spawning here, I'll let my ally get that one. Uh, back to how I'm doing this. I always rush out the wasp because wasp is very important. In case the Cerberus comes over here, I need a wasp to counter it. If there's just a Cerberus, then I really can't do anything. That's why you pretty much always go for the wasp to get this bigger container. And even if the enemy didn't make a Cerberus, and you have the wasp and like a bunch of coyotes and riflemen, you'll still get this big container, so I think it's always a worthwhile investment. So yeah, my army is here, my wasp is arriving, and this big container is as good as mine. We'll target concentrated fire on the fortress, uh, since the fortress is the tankiest. Okay, and since the fortress is gone, there we go. Uh, however, I'm going to attack. I'm going to leave one rifleman to get the big container, and I'm just going to attack using these troops. Uh, it looks like blue has a Cerberus out, so that's a little unfortunate for my ally. I really hope my ally can uh, defend against this. If not, I'm going to have to provide some uh, support. My ally went straight for HQ level 3. I mean, it's fine, right? But I always go for the wasp first. Okay, we're doing an attack, but the enemy just has a bunker up really early. I didn't I didn't expect there for to be a bunker up. Now I could go around the bunker and attack green center base, but I, I really just want the bunker destroyed. Because if I go around the bunker, then really um it's not like I'm gonna destroy the entire base. But if you destroy the bunker then of course you can destroy the base. I, I don't know if if uh, making sense or not, but eh, it's, it's fine. Okay, we're just going to continue with that attack, and I'm going to attack up by building more supply centers and administrative buildings. The Cerberus is almost destroyed. It should be getting destroyed anytime soon. Or maybe it's going to survive. But it should be getting destroyed. And the porcupine lives to see another day. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, okay, let's fast forward. Okay, we scouted both green. Well, I scouted green. My ally is scouting blue right now. Green is only HQ level 3 and only got the 6 and 7 supply centers. A little slow, in my opinion. Blue is doing really good, to be honest. Although, blue is already HQ level 3 with the extensive supply centers. So blue is pretty much matching me with my tech level. However, instead of uh, investing in factories, I went for uh, HQ level four because my strategy is going full aviation. So staying HQ level three. Oh wait, no, 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 no! Blue is already HQ level four. My bad, my bad. Since blue is already HQ level four, blue is out teching me uh, and slightly out teching my ally. As you guys can see, my enemy, the enemy blue, already has a level 3 special vehicle factory and a level 3 assault vehicle factory and is making a level 3 uh, X factory. So, my ally is slightly out tech and I am somewhat out tech. However, green is the weakest of them all, currently speaking. So, let's fast forward.
game. I had to assist this rifleman with the wasp because I didn't want to lose rifleman. I don't want to spend another 34 resources to replenish that rifleman. Okay, I got some hawks up. It looks like blue's preparing for an attack over here. My ally is going to come forward and I mean, I, I'm ready to support with my hawks. I have a couple hawks. And aviation is really good for support. However, it doesn't look like blue is ready to attack yet. Blue is retreating currently. I'm going to go for a Leviathan, uh, as you guys can see on the side. And it looks like blue is attacking, and there's a Solaris. Perfect. Well, that's what Solaris would say. Anyways, air attack, Hawks are going up. And I'm gonna help defend my ally. But with the Solaris, it's going to be very tricky. I can't get some good shots without the Typhoons hitting me hard. My ally is more than one chameleon, so that's going to help with the defense a lot. Of course, not forgetting to keep that the factory is being built uh but yeah okay here's the war i mean not the war but the battle cerberus is also out now my enemy is uh really strong to be honest okay i got the wasp here but i'm not gonna use the acid yet Gotta wait a little bit more. Uh, I have the Leviathan out. What well, just came out. Uh, so I'm gonna have to redirect it to help my ally. Come on, go over there. What? No. No, go go help my ally, bro. Please. Well, I mean, I guess for now it's fine. Since my ally isn't being attacked yet. I'll make a couple dragonflies. Uh because I need to make something other than hawks. I can't just keep spamming hawks. Of course, I'll build another airfield for more hawks and maybe another airfield for albatross. But as of right now, I need some dragonflies. And I scouted my enemies. Blue is mass ground. Green is still taking up though, so green is a little late. Yeah, that's a lot of uh, rounds. The Zeus barely took any damage. That's kind of unfortunate. Okay, Solaris is there. I'm going to be using my aviation to strike that. Many Typhoons. So I'll send my Wasp in to uh, take some Typhoon damage. And also to put some Acid. Ooh, but Solaris got destroyed. Annihilated. But now my Leviathan is out. I'm going to hit my nuke here, but man, the nuke takes a long time to release. And the Zeus pretty much is able to retreat. The nuke really wasn't that effective at all. And at this exact same time, uh, Green is now attacking me with Seraphim and a bunch of Zeus tanks. No shield, which is a little interesting. If the shield was present, this would be a very deadly attack. However, there is no shield. My Leviathan is keeping blue occupied while my ally takes the time to go around. So if I zoom out, let's see how tactically useful this attack is. While blue is going this way, most of the units right now are here. And therefore, my ally can go over this way and if I go over here, right? By the time my enemy, I mean my, by the time my ally reaches this point, my enemy will only have reached this point because the resistance units are just that much quicker. Which means Blue's base will be under attack, by, uh, and my ally will barely be taking any damage uh, from Blue's army. Of course, that'll change once Blue's army uh, eventually does come. It's gonna take like a couple seconds, but free damage is good damage, and there's a lot of Jaguars here too. Now if we can examine uh, what's happening on my side, 
Let me rotate the camera. Green is getting demolished. Uh, cause, uh, there's not that much anti-air, to be honest. Green barely has any anti-air. And if, if you guys know, I've literally just been making air units. I've made a couple Jaguars, but it's not that much. Now, as I said, my allies' troops are here, but most of Blue's troops are there. The only troops that are over here is like a couple assaults. Like, yeah, look, it's just a couple assaults, a Cerberus, shields, and typhoons. It's not going to do anything versus JCP. All the Zeus tanks are here. Uh, and we know Zeus tanks are slow. So these Jaguars are going to be raining free fire. And by the time those Zeus tanks even come, the Jaguars will be gone. Well, one factory is going to be gone, so that'll set Blue back by a little bit. Uh, Green's attack is pretty much uh, eliminated, so there's really not much for Green. Yeah, Yellow is targeting the factories, which is a really tactically good move. Because if there's no factories, then how are you going to make any troops? You're going to rely on these troops. And the HQ is now gone, so it'll take even longer to get the factories back up and make those units again. So blue pretty much is crippled heavily. My ally did a pretty good move. Uh, green did a successful defense. I was not able to push the offense there. I'm going to uh, upgrade to uh, level three Avia factories and make one more airfield for production of bombers. Now the enemy has Solaris, green has Solaris, so both of them have Solaris. So it's gonna be a little bit tough. Yeah, this, uh, I don't know why Solaris beamed the own Typhoon. Like, the beam literally went like this. That was pretty much a beam. I mean, of course it extends further, but... The beam, it really wasn't that good. If I was doing the beam, I would probably do anywhere from here to there. So, like, a beam here, a beam there, or maybe a beam there. But I definitely wouldn't hit my own Typhoon. I mean, overall, sacrificing the Solaris for defense is a decent move. Because the Zeus tanks will be able to hit some really good damage. But Solaris shouldn't be uh, sacrificed like that. In the meantime, I'm just going to use my Leviathan and deal some good damage against Blue. Since Blue's army is nowhere near to be seen, I'm just going to be hitting. Yeah, Blue's army is over here. I assume Blue's going to be attacking. Yeah, Solaris is here. I'm going to use my Hawks and destroy Solaris. But yeah, you guys can see how tanky that Solaris is. Alright, look. At like 8 Hawks firing, it's barely taking any damage at all. So yeah, I'm gonna come in with my Hawks. My ally has a couple Jaguars left. Yellow's definitely gonna lose a little bit of, uh, of the base, but we're going to defend. Come on, Acid Strike, Acid, Acid. Ooh, the Solaris evaded the Acid. Beam. Yeah, but now the Solaris is destroyed. Of course I moved my Leviathan back, because my ally is more important. Defending an ally is more important than destroying the enemy. Because uh, if we destroy the enemy right, but my ally is destroyed, it's gonna be a 1v1. Right, and it's, it's not that fun. I'd rather have a 2v2 than a 1v1, to be honest. Well, the enemy's attack was destroyed. And blue is crippled. So, we're going to be doing pretty good. I have no idea why green decided to send the Solaris out on a suicide attack like this. You are not doing anything with that Solaris, man. Yeah, and at, uh, at this point, you, you guys can see uh, the affirmative we both said uh, and that means that the enemy has surrendered now I don't know Russian so I have no idea what yellow said uh, but he knows a little bit of English so it's fine good play Kant he said 
He asked if I had some contracts to complete. I said no. I was like, should we win? Because we don't have contracts to do. And he's like, yeah. So it's time to see a beautiful scenic attack. The enemy, I mean, my ally is going for JCP to attack. And I'm just going to be raining fire with my aviation units. Now I'll zoom out a little bit because this looks beautiful. Bomber's going straight for the HQ, dealing some good damage. But quite unfortunate that the HQ still survives with like 2% of the HP left. Of course I'm microing my Hawks. I'm microing with very basic micro because I'm also microing Leviathan at the same time. Now yeah, these Zeus tanks are very tanky. Yeah, it takes like 8 Hawks and they can't even one-shot a Zeus tank. I mean, it deals some good cluster damage, but it's uh, it's it's not a one-shot. Uh, come on, let me rotate the... good. There we go. I'll zoom back in. Nice attack by my ally. And uh, yeah, this is a good game. Uh, but of course, this has to be scenic. So I'll, I'll zoom out again. And I'll just keep it playing, to be honest. Yep, that is a good game.